Hey friend, how's that summer going? Man, it's hot out there. I've been miserable, Kathleen. When I'm outside, I feel old. I remember back when I was a kid, it didn't feel as hot as it does right now. Hey, anyway, happy summer, friends. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm going to talk about the new, something new going on in my life. And uh, I'm going to try to articulate it in this quick video. I appreciate you getting on here. But I'm going to start by just saying this. It's going to be hard to get it out. But hey, I want you to know it's okay. That's how I'm going to start this off. We have so many problems in our life that uh, I don't know if we want to cover them up, not admit them, not talk about. But it's okay. Um, like if me and Brittany Renee have a problem, let's just use her for example, and either me or her, if we're having a bad morning or if we're having a bad night, and uh, we always want to defend our position. We always want ourselves to feel better about something and we get defensive. If you say something to me, Kathleen, the first thing I naturally, the way I'm wired is I want to get defensive and I want to say, no, 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 no. Well, here's why, or I want to give an excuse. These automatic defense things come in. Hey, it's okay. How about trying this? How about saying, you know what? It's okay I did that. It's not the end of the world. It's okay that I did something wrong. It's okay I didn't do something that I should have. The problem does not um, really come into play until you start lying to yourself and saying, I didn't do this, or I didn't do that, or you did this, or or uh, you, you try to defend your way out of something that you shouldn't. You should just look at it and understand that that could be the truth. It's okay. So when does it not become okay? It uh, really becomes a problem when, uh, when you can't admit this stuff. It really becomes a problem when you can't communicate this thing to your partner or to your friends or to, to whoever else out there that you're in constant communication with. It, it's not okay when you can't say it's okay and apologize. So communication, I think we would all get along a lot better and you would be a lot happier person. If you could just say, you know what, okay, that's okay, you're right, okay. So too often, we get in the mindset that we we can't be wrong, we can't be unhappy, we can't let people down, but hey, guess what? You're going to do it. So uh, go ahead and take that objection out of the equation. Kathleen, say something right now. Tell me something about me. Tell me something. You admit when you're wrong and you move on. <laughs> Tell me something that I don't do. Tell me a problem I've got. We're on the test Manning up. <laughs> Manning up. Sometimes, sometimes whenever it calls for letting other people down, I have a very, very tough time coming out and saying it because I worry. To, there's, there's, um, there's too much in me that cares about what people think. I can't say something and just say it without consideration of how they're going to take it. So you know what I need to say? Instead of, no, that ain't true. No, no, you're right. It's okay, though. It's okay that I've got this problem. I can't start fixing this problem until I identify it's a problem. You can't start winning until you stop losing. So, hey, it's okay, friends. That's all I wanted you to know. It's okay that you're not perfect. It's, not, it's okay that you didn't do something. It's okay if you're not reaching your goals. It's okay. It's okay. Just because you can't admit it's okay does not mean it's changing the truth. So, hey, thank you for following me.